Assalamualaikum and good afternoon my dear all friends. I am Ahmad Rashid Ahmad Zai again with a new English lecture. To start with a new from my chilla, most gracious and most merciful. My dear all friends, as you all can see today we are going to talk about must and have to. But before starting our today's lecture, my dear all friends, I want to ask you all to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And do not forget to press the bell icon to receive all the notifications of my new videos. Okay my dear all friends, as I mentioned, today we are going to talk about two auxiliary verbs which are a little bit similar in meaning, which are called must and have to. Okay, let's ta uh, start our lecture. As uh, I mentioned, the both are auxiliary verbs and the both are similar in one part. In a form of the forms, we use both of them to talk about rules and obligation. It means that we can use both of them to talk about rules and obligation. For example, you have to study more to pass an exam and you must study more to pass an exam. But there is something that I want to mention. We use must in official forms, but we use have to in more, um, in more common speaking. It means that when we are talking commonly, it means that we can use use have to more than than must and when we're talking officially with someone on the time it will be better to use from must okay let's talk about must uh, and using them with uh, subject pronouns we use must and must not for all subject pronouns it means must and must not are the same or is the same for all subject pronouns and we use have to for first and second person which are i we you they and we use uh, as to for third person which is he she and also it okay let's talk about the negative form of of, uh, uh, have to and also must the negative form of have to is don't have to and the negative form of must is must not okay are they completely the same in negative forms or no no the must the negative form of must and have to are completely different it means that in negative forms they can give completely a different meaning we use must not when you are completely prohibited from something for example you must not park here it means that you are prohibited to park in here and we use don't have to when there is nothing obligatory or necessary for example you don't have to park in here it means that you can park in here but it is not necessary to park your car in here okay my dear all friends it was our today's lecture about must and also have to i hope you enjoyed and learned some new things from our today's lecture do not forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to receive all the notification of my new videos have a nice and great time stay at home be safe allah hafiz